I did not think I'd be starting 2024 with a gay Hollywood video, but for some reason, Corey Holcomb and Damon Williams, Williamson, uh, Wilson, excuse me, have uh, this to talk about. This is the first thing on their mind in 2024. It's kind of ironic timing with the Epstein list about to come out, but here we go. And so many people will say to me, Corey think everybody gay. Listen to what I'm trying to tell y'all, man. I don't, I can't do nothing about the lifestyle of men who choose that. But I do want to give you a little information. All you guys who thinking of coming out of here, thinking you gonna make it, your asshole must be sacrificed. You're not <laughs> going to get it. <coughs> if you ain't coming out of here to ride cowboy style at these parties, I'm just saying. Hell all no. All that stuff you seeing, you ain't getting nothing but bits and pieces of the truth. These parties in Hollywood come with consequence and penetration. Whoa. And if you like to party and, and bounce, you need to come to Hollywood. Why Why be a, a Bagdoria in Cleveland when you can come to L.A. and you might get the right tickle back there? Oh, Listen, my God. This dude's true. He fucking stupid. He's stupid. All right, but I do have another video for y'all. I do have one more. Well, I got two more actually. Uh, let's get into this other one. Changed me. Some people I can't go watch their movie no more because all I could think about is how they move, and I'm not one who goes off a of rumor with nobody. Yeah, I'm not one who goes off a of rumor. I live in Hollywood. I know what it is because I didn't seen it. And now that I know a lot more than the average one would know, it's hard to watch these guys play superheroes and right, right, right. good guys and stuff like that. It's tainted. That's why I said once before on my show, I try not to get to know the people I watch right. in entertainment because when I know it, like, when I when I know what's it's hard to watch them be a good guy in the movie. Right. Mm. Right. Mm. Like I said, Jonathan Majors, I'm using his name. I, I'm not trying to call out the brother, but I'm saying when I saw him running from the girl, it's hard for him to be Kang the Conqueror to me now. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know that. Yeah, you're right. It's hard. Like, mm -hmm. I'm like, Oh shit! Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> when I see somebody go, ah, yeah, you, I'll be like, shut the fuck up. Or even how he was talking. See those mm -hmm. things too. That just, I was like, what? Well, how was he talking? Did he tell me? So in, the, in, yeah. the, in the messages, yeah. that he was saying it to her. Uh, his voice. His voice. It ain't had no bass in it, did it? I peep shit like that, though. When you came out the courtroom with the Bible, oh, I was like, oh. No, man. No, don't. That's the All right. So the the thing that she's referencing is she's referencing when uh when he uh dang what did he do he he in the voice recording he asked her he asked a white his white girlfriend to be more like Coretta Scott King and uh man I forget who else but that's just. That's just ridiculous. Talking about some, oh Michelle Obama. I was like, bro, she she's a white lady. Like, you could maybe ask her to be more like Ellen DeGeneres or something. Like, I don't know what's wrong with him. Um, he was tripping in there. But uh, I got one more clip for y'all, and then I'm a, then I'm gonna give my piece because I I don't wanna I don't wanna hold y'all. I don't wanna hold y'all. Oh. 1982, I went full-time into the ministry. The Lord called me full-time into the ministry. I preached before thousands in Africa, thousands in China, in every city in Hamlet in America. How old are you? I'm 35. I got to suit your age. 
That's why you don't know. Are you, I I'm thought maybe you to get your homework before you interviewed me. Hollywood, I've never had anything to do with any kind of click. I'm not a clickish person. Right. I, and I, I see that. Followers. When I grew up, I had the kids followed me. They followed my dress style, mm -hmm. they followed my coolness, the way I walk. When I was in the war, I was a leader. I ain't never followed nobody. So these clicks, I could tell you things about people you named that the, the, the little Fruit Loops, they bend over billies. You cannot make it to the top in that industry without selling your soul. Well, do you know about the brother that just came forward, Christian Keys? You heard you heard of this young actor? He just came forward and said that he was sexually harassed by a billionaire Hollywood person in power. There's assumptions of names. Is that something that happened in your industry? Like, were you ever? Respectfully, I'm asking you as again, here you go. My industry, it's not my industry. I'm a Broadway actor in that to Hollywood. Wait a minute, you didn't okay. do your homework. I'm gonna tell you, damn. I came to California, he on his ass, to Canada called the Dealing or the Berkeley to Boston 40 Brick Bag Lost Blues. I went back to Broadway and I was at the public theater. Al Pacino was down there, the late Ron O'Neill was down there. You had a lot of actors that became famous that were down there working for Joe Papp in the village at the at the uh, 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 the that theater. It, mm -hmm. it's, it's renowned. And Walter Mirish from Mirish Studio from the Mirish Brothers came to New York, and he cast me in my first major motion picture, The Organization, uh, with Sidney Poitier. And that's why when I first came to California, we shot it in San Francisco mm -hmm. and people saw the dailies and they liked my work. And so I said, oh, you know what, I'm going to move out there because I'm getting a lot of offers and I don't want to be doing this bi coastal thing. So I moved to California and I did Mission Impossible and a couple of uh, TV spots and then all in the family. And then I got a phone call from Bud Yorkin and he asked me to if I wanted to do a series with Red Fox. So I've never been a part of any of that nonsense. I don't respect those people. I don't care about that. Mm -hmm. I'm, 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 you know, I told you I was, I had I connections. I would, nobody was going to say nothing to me. I get it. And I, and it made me think when you just said kind of the comment about some of the people that we've known in the industry and what they might have to do to get to the top. Can you give me all of them? All of them. You name your biggest black actors. You name your biggest white actors. You name your biggest female Latino actresses. They all have to do. Okay. So, what do all three of these videos have in common? People in Hollywood be fucking, okay? They be fucking a lot. It's a hot fucking mess out there. I tried to tell y'all in this other video, all right, that them dudes is gay as hell out there, okay? I didn't see a lot of Fruit Loop ass shit, okay? I told y'all when I was a Lyft driver or whatever, I had to pick people up from these weird, strange ass parties, folks walking out with limps that shouldn't be walking with limps. I'm gonna just leave that right there. Y'all can, y'all can, y'all can fill in the blank. Um, and and it's just it's just a weird city, man. That's why that's why I really stopped doing Lyft and stuff there, cause I, I was seeing too much. I was seeing too much. I was around too many like drugs and stuff. Like it was just, it was just a dark space. It's a dark space, and people are willing to do whatever, you know. Um, and if you want that life for yourself, if you want to be the top of the top, then you're gonna have to do that. That's why um, YouTube is such a being a content creator is such a good thing because you can you basically make your own lane and you can build yourself directly to your fans. And you got to give up your butt cheeks to make it. You know what I'm saying? And yes, you know what I'm saying? The women, they be having a fuck. The men be having a fuck. Like, every everybody, like, they're just perverts. They're sick perverts. Like, you think Diddy's bad? You think Diddy's bad? You know what I'm saying? You think Harvey Weinstein was bad? Like, nah. Them people, they're, they're on the outskirts. It's the people you don't see. It's the names you don't know. Them jokers is terrible. They are real deal evil. They're real deal dark. Um, Bree, what did you think? Okay, Bree ain't got no comment. I'm trying to think. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know much about 
much about it, but like I've always heard that um, mm -hmm. to make it to the top, like you have to do those things, but I don't be believing it. But it's like something's up. You got to do something to make it to the top because it's getting a little weird. People are starting to get too exposed and mm -hmm. I kind of like believe it now. So I don't know. I don't want to make it to the top. That's what it takes. And yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to act. I don't want to be in movies no more. Like none of that. You think everyone has to do that though? Yeah, yeah. I just I'm, can't see Beyonce doing that. I'm so sorry. But see, but here's the thing I though. Here's she, I just can't. Here's the thing though. She was already popping because she was singing. Yeah. And she had a group. Yeah. So that's You're talking about in today's. No, no, I'm talking about anybody that makes it to the top that ain't already popping for any other reason, like they did of their own. Like yeah, you definitely fucking like is fucking somebody. And stuff? Why yes. do you think that? I mean, maybe some, but like some of them took acting classes or went to school for that and can just yeah. be an actor and actress. No, so it's not to say that these people aren't good. It's just they wouldn't give them the roles that they gave them if they uh, weren't doing oh, what okay, they were doing. Okay, okay. Yeah, you know what I, I'm saying? I kind of feel that. Yeah. That's scary. So you think it's a lot of white owned people doing it? Because I feel like yeah, white most people of at the top. Yeah, most of the execs are white. Mm -hmm. It's some it's some old white guy you don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's some perverted shit. Super perverted. I feel like when he dies, he's going to train his grandson or something to do that perverted shit and, because that's how they stay at the top. Yeah. The black folks should be at the top, but the white folks got the key. They ain't going to get rid of that key. They yeah. Ain't gonna do that. Nah, nah. And, and that's the part that kills me about Hollywood. Hollywood, they claim they like they woke and they care about us yeah. so much. Yeah. But they don't. They don't. They're, they're like evil. They're just straight evil. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, that's scary. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Uh, yeah, these people are nasty. Don't forget to subscribe. You know what I'm saying? All right, it's 2024. Okay, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's what we're doing. That's the New Year's resolution. Your resolution is to subscribe to me.